Good day and welcome back to another DBZ Doka Metal video. In this video we are going to be taking a look at the performance of the LR Int Namek Goku in the Cell Max event. So obviously uh, Cell Max, as I preface it every single time, is an incredibly difficult, incredibly tough uh, stage that essentially means you basically rely the majority on evasion as your main method of damage prevention. A major evasion or just huge amounts of damage reduction. Obviously, guys, uh, if possible, you obviously want to try and, uh, you know, I guess, like, bring units that can do that, but not everyone's got, you know, the perfect set of units. So we'll be taking a look at LR Super Saiyan Goku, uh, just seeing how he does, and yeah, just talking about any issues. So the nice thing for Goku is, well, he has type advantage against the final stage. Uh, so that's always a very, very good uh, kind of part of a like, unit's kit here. Uh, he has a natural kind of layer of damage protection by being an in-type unit to a tech stage. So Goku, just very briefly, he has key plus two, attack and defense of 159%. He launches an additional super if he takes an attack before he fires off as an attack. He has a uh, key plus one at the start of every turn. He gains an additional 59% attack when there's an extreme class enemy and he will perform critical hits against freezer units. Uh, he also has uh, basically a active skill which also does pretty big damage. Uh, the nice thing about Goku is he will raise defense on his 12 key. So if you get him to get hit, uh, every follow-up additional attack will raise his defense. Uh, if you get him to get hit and you make sure he only fires his 12 key, then you are guaranteed to get a double defensive raise. Goku can raise his defense at a decent speed. Uh, people sometimes overrate uh, the speed at which he stacks his defense. And what I mean by that is they like to make it seem like it's not that quick. But especially with a dupe uh, in Goku, generally speaking, he can build up that defense pretty quickly. Uh, I would say, at least for me, from my perspective, Goku's defense builds up more than adequately for most events. Now, the nice thing about the Cell Max event is the first two enemies are not too hard. So generally, if Goku stacks against the uh, Strength Cell, he does generally have decent enough defense uh, to handle the physical cell. You can see here we are taking a little bit of damage uh, that is to be slightly expected because we didn't uh, build up our defense just quite enough uh, but after one round he'll be fine to tank normals. Uh, he will still take quite a bit of damage from a super attack for a little bit uh, but it's a great opportunity to really kind of have him stack up. I mean you can see here we get you know three of the you know, we get two or three super attacks in and all of a sudden everything is looking a lot lot better so uh yeah overall uh goku is pretty solid on that front uh, like i said he does build up relatively quickly so you shouldn't have a massive issue uh in trying to utilize goku for these events now from my kind of uh usage of Goku uh, there is always you know the issue of um, can he stack fast enough it's really just going to depend on how many stacks you get him to have uh, you can see here we are taking on cell max uh, we are going to get an attack in before he fires off his attack we have not stacked uh, quite a lot with this Goku so he's only going to have just over 300k defense now the nice thing about him is he does do decent damage uh, and but you can see 118k he he's not looking spectacular uh, defense wise you know he he's not uh, he's not being a brick wall uh, and that can happen if you don't get the stacks if he's off rotation if you especially nowadays with the amount of damage teams can put out you can blitz through these events quite uh, quite quickly so what you want to do is you actually want to try uh, and essentially slow down the rates at which your team destroys through the events. If you plan on using Goku, you really want him to be a solid defensive unit for the final phase. Because the first two phases are so short, 
you're actually going to want to, especially if units don't need their 18 key to stack, you're going to want to basically just let them uh, not fire off super attacks if they don't need them. So that's kind of where it sits. Uh, otherwise you get your 12 key with them, avoid whatever super attacks you can, uh, and the sense you, you let Goku really build up. Yeah, so it's just going to depend on how you pace the Goku. If you want to use him, uh, you want to pace him, you can see here in this clip, we have him a bit higher on the defensive spectrum. Uh, he's now above the 300k threshold, uh, which is obviously you know, pretty solid from his perspective. Uh, he is going to take a super attack immediately here, uh, and that's okay. Like, uh, you'll see that it's greatly diminished. Uh, 723,000 is not that bad, considering he still could have stacked a lot more. Um, Goku's fine. You just need to try and utilize him a bit better. But yeah, that's going to be it for me. I don't think you need to see too much more. Uh, we saw pretty much everything. It's about controlling and stacking, and you'll get a good performance. But that's it for me. I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, take care, stay safe, and as always, I uh, appreciate if you leave a like on the video. Bye.